So this problem says we should find the minimum value of the function this. Okay, so now you recall that if I have um, a Cartesian um, graph like this, of course, uh, and a function goes this way. So the minimum, uh, the maximum value is the value of y at this point if traced to the y axis. Of course, you know that this is your y and this is your x. So while the minimum value is the value of y at this point, okay, so, all right, now, how do I get this value if I'm given the function? Okay, so all I need to do is to get the minimum point and then substitute it into this particular function I'm given here. Now, meanwhile, how do we get the minimum point of uh, a particular function? First of all, we need to get the stationary point if it has more than one stationary point. And how do you know the number of stationary points of a given function is from the degree of that function? So the number of stationary points is always one less than the degree. So here we have the degree as two. Therefore, the number of stationary points we should expect from this is just one. Okay, so and what do we mean by stationary point? The turning points like what I drew here. So you know we have three major kinds of turning points, the maximum point, the minimum point, and you have what we call the inflection point. Okay, so remember that we said that your stationary point is gotten from taking the derivative of x, sorry, of y with respect to x and equating that to zero when you solve. And why is this? Because at the point where there is a turning on the curve, if you take a tangent at that point, it is always parallel to the x-axis. And because it is parallel to the x-axis, it means actually that your y there is a constant. Okay, and if your y is a constant, if you take the derivative of y in order to get the equation of the tangent, you're actually going to get zero. So at the point where there is a stationary or a turning on um, a, a particular function, the derivative of that function with respect to the independent variable is always equal to zero. So if you equate it to zero and solve, you will be able to get the values of your x, and those values are your stationary point or the turning point. And if we do that here, we are going to get that dy dx is going to be equal to 2x plus 8. Okay, and then if I now equate this to zero, I am going to get that my x alone is going to be equal to negative 4. Of course, your 8 coming here will be negative 8, and then you divide both sides by 2. Okay, so now having gotten that, if there were two of them, we would now be looking for which one is maximum and which one is minimum. Now, since we just have only one, we only have to check whether if this is actually a minimum point. And if it is, then we only substitute it into this function, and whatever we get is our minimum value. And to check if there's a minimum point, all you need to do is to differentiate this again. And if we differentiate it again, that means we're going to have f prime prime of x. Remember that this one is f prime of x. So if we differentiate it again, we'll get the double prime, and that is going to give us two, okay? And then after you've differentiated, you substitute the value you got here, that's the turning point, to know now if you substitute and it is positive then it means that that is a minimum point but if it is negative it means it's a maximum point and if it is zero it means it's an inflection point so let's substitute the value here of course if we, whatever value you put here as your x you will still get two because this is a constant function right and so that means, and since 2 is greater than 0, it implies that our 4 is, sorry, negative 4 is a minimum point. Okay, so I haven't seen that. All we need to do now is to substitute that into this function. And so we are going to have that f of negative 4 is going to be equal to negative 4 squared we evaluate this we're going to have 16 minus 32 plus 15 
and that is equal to negative one. And this is the solution to this problem. All right, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is all I have for you in this video. And do give a thumbs up to this video. And you can also see other of our videos on um, basic um, calculus. Uh, that's pre-calculus uh, videos that or lessons that we have done on differentiation, integration, application of uh, differentiation, such as uh, these minimum, maximum values, you look at the tangent and the normals of the function, and you can also see some videos on conic sections on this channel. So just check our playlist and you will find this video. And we'll also attach some links to those, of those videos on the description or to the description of this video. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.